Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me, and you have seen her here before, way back in the gap, like almost two years ago. Yeah, almost two years ago now. When she is making another appearance for a get ready with me. And we're just gonna be like swapping some products, trying a few new products, not a full face of new products. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. I'm starting with primer because I do have this water, the Ciate Watermelon Primer to try out again because I cleaned my brushes and whatnot. And then I'm also going to be using the Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water. I'm gonna use primer my face. Are you liking that Elf Poreless Putty Primer? I don't have a problem with it. I don't like it. I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm using the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And I'll be starting with my eyes after this too, and I'll be borrowing her little fancy schmancy concealer to try it. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like. Uh, not a, it smells like watermelon candy. No, that hair product. It smells like a hair product. We I know what you're talking about. It's the. It's not a hair product. It's the kids shampoo. Is that what it is? Yeah, like the suave kids. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, <laughs> I do. So I'm going to be trying out Ali's Alamar Cosmetics palette today. I don't feel like experimenting with my face. With I'm my experimenting with my face because as y'all know, I thought that this was breaking me out, but now stands the true test of if it was this or dirty makeup brushes because my face is actually clearing up really good. I just have one under the skin bump, well, a couple under the skin bumps right here. Other than that, my face has cleared up. Going in with the shade Coco Taxi in my crease. Don't know if you can see. Now I'm gonna go in with my Milani Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown, and I'm going to be doing my brows with that. On all the parts where silent, don't worry, because there will be music. So don't worry about if you're breathing hard, because nobody will hear. Are you telling me I'm breathing <laughs> no. hard? No, because me breathing the way I'm breathing, I can hear it on there. Like, and that's because I'm like this. Breathing like, like, like I haven't did a 30 minute workout this morning. That workout was intense. I was about to say, that was a good workout. My arms like are it. just dying. If you get super sore like that, the multivitamin that might be good for you is the active one from GNC. Unless you're really wanting to use weight, then get the energy and metabolism. It would but help. the active one helps with your soreness. Like it helps you recover. I have a protein and BCAAs that keep the soreness down. I don't know what I've like. All I've been taking is like a multivitamin and then like the the coarse slimming super greens. And like I haven't gotten sore in a really long time. But I also haven't worked out. Yeah. Like, but that might mean that I need to up my intensity if I'm not getting sore anymore. You need to go up in your weight. Well, the reason why I've gone down in my weight is because I was doing high weight to build the muscle. But I also noted that noticed that like I wasn't seeing any toning. I was just noticing my arms get not as jiggly. And so now I want to tone. So I'm doing lightweight, a lot of reps. I'm going to take Guantanamera. Aira Guantanamera. Is, <laughs> is that what it made you think of? Yes, that's why I said it. <laughs> Borrowing her concealer, we're gonna go ahead and just dab this on the eyelids. Is there a reason why you did one eye at a time? Is there something I should know about this? For me, so it doesn't crease because I work so slow on my eyes. So oh. it's just better for me to go one eye at a time. <laughs> I'm using my Morphe sponge to blend that in. It almost turned brown. <coughs> what, the red one? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, did, but did you already have brown on that brush? That's what I'm wondering. Did I have brown on this brush? I think you did. I really need to clean my brushes. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going in with the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. I found this for $7 at Walmart. And the shade I'm going to be going in with is Bare in Mine. And I'm going to be using that to set my eyelids. Oh, that's a really good mirror in here. I never got what people used to say when they're like, this is a really good mirror. Until, like, all Until you notice like all mirrors are not created equal. It's just getting worse. <laughs> well, that one had a brown on it too, didn't it? No, I didn't use that brush. Use your first brush and blend it all out. That's what I do whenever things are starting to look a bit messy. The next shade in the Bold Obsession palette that I'm going to go in with is Sweet as Honey. Mm -hmm. So you don't set your eyeshadow primer, whatever you use? And no, because with me, like my eyelids will just eat up that one. Like it'll set it and then every other color after that will just fade away throughout the day. 
And so then you got oily eyelid. Mm -hmm. So the other day that I didn't set that concealer, my eyeshadow was pretty good all day. You know what I had tried doing? Like, because we have completely opposite eyelids. Like, I have dry eyelids. So what I had started doing was I would just take my hydrating face primer on my eyelids and then use concealer. So maybe if you take your mattifying primer on your eyelids. I don't have one. I don't have one either. I only have a primer because you gave me one. I was just well, that, well, that elf one is supposed to be mattifying and help with oil control. Ever since you did that halo eye the other day, that's all I want to do. A halo eyes? Yes. I mean, that's what I would usually do. Like, just do like a little spotlight in the middle. But yours was so good the other day. And I'm mad no one got to see it. Because it was so good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't work that day. No, I didn't. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade Brunette Half Bun. And I'm going to be taking on this on my um, Ipsy Tetris brush. And since she brought up a halo eye, that's probably what I'm going to be. I should just go. That's because I didn't even like cut out the halo. I don't think I'm going to today. I kind of have that spot already open. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in and only use three shades. But my three shades make me take as long as if I was doing a full cut crease drag look. The other day, we were getting ready to go somewhere. And she saw that I was doing my makeup, so she went to start on hers. And mind you, whenever she saw me, I was barely doing foundation. So, like, all I had did was prime. And it was, like, my easy go-to, like, 20-minute, 15 to 20-minute makeup look. And within the time it took me to do foundation, concealer, powder, brows, a, throw, a, throw a color in my crease, eye, eye, eyeliner, my, eyeliner, mascara, and then, like, all the face products she did. <laughs> brows, <laughs> mascara, and lips. I thought that this would be more difficult, like since we're kind of right up on each other. But I think since we're <laughs> both right-handed, we're not like constantly yeah. like pumping in. Even if we other. weren't, like we would just have to switch seats. Like if I was left-handed, I would just work. Yeah, over Ethan's left-handed. Did you know that? No. And King's starting to do everything with his left hand too. That bright shade wasn't quite pink enough for what I'm wanting today, so I'm gonna go in with my Jacqueline Hill. That brown like came off like really, really like cool tone. Like this, and there's a patch right here that doesn't really want to blend out. That's super brightening. Remember going back in with that first crease shade that we used, Sweet as Honey, to blend everything out. Face kind of inspired me, so I'm gonna use um, red between the lines and do a little bit more of a precise cut crease. Oh. I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Outer V brush. Back in with a little bit of my pre shade. I think? think that this is what you were looking for in that color, huh? Where? The red? Mm -hmm. I want like a Cranberry. bright pink. Okay, and I'm not going to use, like, gonna cut my V. I'm just gonna take the shade Gold gl gl Gold Getter. And then chose a tongue twister there. Yeah, and you put it right there in the center of my hole. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of red in the red between the lines and just kind of blend those edges together where the gold meets the reddish color. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade, bear in mind, with my original brush, the setting. So next I'm gonna do a little bitty wing. We'll see if it's actually a little bitty with this mellow precision eyeliner that I got in my Ipsy. We're just gonna go ahead and wing it out. Not too shabby, not too shabby on the wing. Told you today, I'm unlucky. Something's gonna go wrong. Something Don't say that, wrong. start speaking the opposite over yourself. If you claim it, of course that's all that's gonna happen to you. You can't change the past, but you can always change your future. Okay. So I'm going to take my Montour Big Mascara and I'm just going to do one coat on my top lashes because I will be applying falsies. I didn't buy me. Roast me. I got on my mom's Amazon account and bought some more brushes. You I have asked her. been telling me I asked you're her. not more brushes. <laughs> I asked her though. And I don't need any more brushes, but it's like my one thing that I'm addicted. Brushes, eyeshadow palettes. Actually, I got a lot of everything, but like my top three are brushes, foundations, and eyeshadow palettes. Because I have quite a bit of mascaras too. Lips, always. Oh, lips. and of course, I don't think anybody 
I don't even think that should count. And what most what makeup products do you have most of? I think everybody's number one would be lips. I'm going to be taking my Kiss lashes in the style Pixie. She's going so fast. On. I'm really not. I'm just going at my speed. I'm just very slow. Faith's not putting on lashes. Be I mean, yeah, she's not putting on lashes because she don't need lashes. Oh, thanks. Negate the fact that I don't know how to put them on. You are. You are. Enough time. You'd be surprised at how much editing I, editing I do of me putting on lashes. Looks fast. People don't see that. Sometimes I have to take them off and start all over again. On to mascara. No, I was gonna wait for mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna go to lashes are done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my face too, and I'm gonna be taking my tried and true holy grail foundation l'oreal freshwear and i have mine in the shade 460 golden beige finally learned the name after 3,000 years going in with the Too faced born this way foundation in the shade vanilla she used to tease me for being so light now she's so light we're the same exact shade now i love this foundation application with this particular sponge like i feel like this sponge gives you a lot more coverage than any other sponge eyes look so weird until you put on foundation or is that or am i the only person who thinks that like i feel like how much eyes, different my eyes look true but i also feel like <laughs> mascara also yes played with yes. i have not it done it crazy <laughs> <laughs> mascara and foundation make a big difference in your makeup in your eye shadow. I forgot how much I love this sponge. Because it's so mm. big, it just gets it done. I know, I want that sponge, but every time I go to Ulta to get it, it's sold out. I'm going to take a little bit more of my foundation and just kind of cover up these dark spots. I really want to try a witch hazel toner to see if it'll help mm. with these dark spots. Because I hear a lot of people say that witch hazel toners help with their acne scarring. I use one. Maybe not long enough but it toned down the redness in my face because it's a vasoconstrictor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying out her concealer. Like she, she's actually, uh, we're actually the same, por <sighs> we're this actually sponge. the shade porcelain in this concealer, you said what? This sponge, like, it'll show its little marks on my face. This one does that too, or at least it did whenever it was real new. I mean, I've used it so many times, and that's what makes me mad is that I have to go back in with the beauty blender sometimes. Because it just, my face doesn't look right. You know what a good sponge is? The e.l.f. Total Complexion Sponge. Ooh, la la. This, I can already tell that, like, you have to set this really fast or blend it out again before you set it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a very, very <clears throat> hydrating. Got it, and I started working. I started doing, like, carrier services for food so like delivery services for food so like uh postmates uber eats and here in texas we have what's called favor and i've been doing that and pretty much what i'm working for is like spending money and then like we should be saving all of the rest of the money from brian's checks but we're getting better at that I and mean, if you guys want me to go in on what we've been doing for our budget let me know i can do i can record a video on that like how we what, what our plan is what our goals are why we're getting more in depth with our budget and things like that but yeah, so pretty much I'm working so we can have spending money and then hopefully save a lot more money because when I don't have to work and it's not a set schedule and I work when I want and when I don't want to, I don't work. So I'll be going in with this banana setting powder from Bella Pierre to set that concealer down. So I am gonna go back in and with this concealer, I'm gonna blend out underneath the eyes one more time and then I'm not I lied. I said I'm not going to look down again, but I have to figure out where the powder was. But now I'm not going to look down until I have set that. I'm going to set this concealer with my shade and light highlighting color. I might... I think I'll just go with the yellow because the yellow is my favorite. Thankfully it works no matter how I am. Okay, now I'm going to take... As always, oh gone. what's left on the cap and a powder brush and dust this over the rest of my face. This sponge, just, no, look at my face. Um, take off your phone, you see? Use the other end where you use your foundation. Did it fix it? It usually works for me.
I'm so extra. <laughs> going back in, I'm going in with the shade Sweet as Honey. And on that first brush, I'm gonna dust this all the way across my lower lash line, kind of blown out. <laughs> Come to the conclusion that my children hate me. Going back in with red between the lines. I'm gonna try to put this really on um, like up against that lower lash line. Going back in with the Monsieur Big mascara, we're gonna do our lower gonna do my lower lashes. Taking my physician's formula butter bronzer in the shade bronzer. Since that works for you, it might work for me. I was always scared whenever I thought it was darker, that it wouldn't show up. <laughs> well, they have darker ones now anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my Ulta Beauty bronzer, bronzer brush. I'm using the Morphe 9N palette. I just don't know what shade. I think I'm gonna go for this middle one. Going in to contour the nose. For some I think I just grabbed the underneath part. Yeah. It's also like suntan lotion. Yeah, I told my Sam and I are talking about it and I was like, I don't know what people are talking about. It's about it smells like coconut. It smells like the one that comes in the brown bottle. No, I don't think it smells like that. Because I love that scent. I love that scent. But I'm gonna be taking it this cover girl peach punch blush and it's in the shade peach punch. I've noticed I'm getting a lot of single blushes that make up for my broken Island Hottie blush palette by LA Girl, which is my favorite blush palette. But I've been buying, like, I've been ending up with a lot of blushes that are like exactly the same as what as what was in there, and I love it. I'm just like, hey, hey. doing that probably real will repurchase that palette. I need to buy that bronzer. Oh, I forgot I was gonna use her Makeup Revolution highlighting powder. Gonna go in with this. Highlighter. We're going to try out this little Focalure highlighting face blush palette. So this is what it looks like. Um, they don't have shade names, so I'm just gonna take this one right here on the end. And we're going to take one of my favorite highlighting brushes. Let's just see what happens with this powdery highlighter. The highlighter is not terrible. What does it look like? Oh, cool. hmm. I thought it would look chalky, but it doesn't. So this is a lot better on the face than whatever you like. Than whenever you swatch it, like the feel of it and like the way it applies. Because you would think it would apply chalky and dry, but it doesn't. Going back to the eyes, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now that my face is done. I don't like doing my eyebrows before foundation because I'm just gonna get everything in them. That's why you set. That's why you do them and then set them after your powder. This is the Winky Lux eyebrow. Mm -hmm. She cute. cute. So, that makes so we both just subscribed for the Boxy Charm, and I'll leave my little referral code down below because if you guys sign up. <clears throat> I'll get some points and then I can get free products. And then I was just thinking about whatever products I'll get in those boxes that I don't want or like I know I'm not gonna use, I will start saving up for giveaways. It's a good eyebrow today. Well, apparently I pay absolutely no attention to what lip products I pick out. Cause he's like, <laughs> these are the two colors I chose. This is a more matte lips creams or lip, liquid lipsticks from Milani. One's in the shade Allure and one's in the shade Striking. Do you think Allure is too bright for this eye? Yes. And then and red. You're just doing too not much. Gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me go find another lip product. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Going in with my liquid Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. <laughs> Do I want that one today? Mm -hmm. I think I do. Just put your face on my face and let me go to work. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar. I think that turned out great. 
This looks great on my lashes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna curl my lashes on one. Well, I didn't even curl them to begin with, so I'm gonna curl these lashes. I think I found the next mascara I need to buy. This is doing everything I wanted the big ego to do. I need length and I need some volume. These lashes are doing everything I want them to do. <laughs> Give me lashes. <laughs> <laughs> going to go in with my e.l.f. brow out setting gel. I have such a mixture of high-end and drugstore on my face. Mostly drugstore. I think mine was mainly high-end. High-end, that means some of it was Morphe or those in-between brands. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my space with the... I'm gonna spray my face with three-in-one primer water. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm going to spray this spray onto the sponge. So I notice when I spray this spray directly onto my face, like it can eat up my eyeshadow, as she would say. And like, you just, this don't need to go everywhere on your face unless you're spraying it on before you apply your makeup. So you guys can just see like the beautiful glow it just gives your skin. And then it helps push in the last primer spray or setting spray so you don't have spots. Yeah, now I can spray this on your sponge and then... You have a tiny forehead. Thanks! I always thought I had a humongous forehead. <laughs> no, you have a tiny forehead. All right, you guys, so this is our completed look. Look, we finished at almost the same time because I procrastinated a lot. Oh, I had to get up a lot. <laughs> you were uninterrupted. So, <laughs> despite all of my interruptions and her lengthy process, we are finally here at the completed look. Thousand years later. Surprise, you guys. This is my $20 Ulta gift card giveaway. So what I want you to do is follow me on Instagram, comment down below how you found my channel and why you continue to stay subscribed and I can check all of those things. And what else? Like, leave a comment, subscribe. I think that's everything. Yeah, and follow me on this video. And follow me on Instagram. Yes, that's what she's trying to do. Yeah, I'll leave it all down in the description <laughs> box on what to do for this giveaway. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. There will hopefully be more videos with Faith now, and hopefully my other sisters will join in, Destiny and Desiree. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.